In this Unity exercise, we'll apply player movement to a vehicle using a C-sharp script. We'll add materials and a skybox to the environment and enable the player to shoot bullets. First of all, create a new Unity project and add a new game object of a cube. Resize the cube into the shape of a floor. Add another cube to the scene to test that the movement script is working properly. Import the playermovement.cs script into your assets folder. Drag and drop the player movement script onto the cube, then test the game. The cube should move forward and backwards and rotate left and right using the control keys. Delete the cube. We were just testing to make sure that the script works. Open the asset store and search for a vehicle, for example, a military tank. Download and import the object. Add the tank prefab to your scene. Add a game object cube and resize it to match the tank. Drag the player movement script onto the cube and test the game. It should move with the controls. Now make the tank prefab a child of the cube. Rename the cube to tank parent. With the cube selected, in the inspector panel, uncheck the mesh renderer box. The parent will become invisible and when you test the game now, the tank should move. You can adjust the speed of the tank's forward movement and rotation in the inspector panel. Next, we'll adjust the camera to make the scene more playable. The first method is to make the camera follow the tank's movement in third-person view. To do this, adjust the camera's position behind the tank, then make it a child of the tank parent object. Now, when you test the game, the camera will always be behind the tank following it. Move the camera back out to the main scene by dragging it out into the main hierarchy panel. Import the standard assets package, Cameras, by clicking File, Import Package. Open the Cameras Scripts folder and drag the Look at Target script onto the main camera. In the inspector, drag the tank parent object onto the target field of the script. Reposition the camera so that it's behind and above the tank at a distance so that we can see everything in front of it. Adjust the X and Y rotation to 180 degrees and leave the speed at 1. For the look at target script, the lower the value, the faster the camera movement. Test the scene. When you move the tank around, the camera should follow its movement. Next, we're going to add some materials and a skybox to the environment. Go to the asset store and search for a skybox HDR asset. Download and import. Click on Window, Lighting, Settings. In the Skybox field, select one of the Skybox textures that you just downloaded. Test the game and you should be able to see the Skybox applied around your scene. Next, we'll download some materials for the ground texture. Search for Tiling Materials. Once you import, you can drag and drop the material onto the ground to apply it. To adjust the texture's tiling, select the material and increase the tiling in the inspector. Add a few ramps to the scene by adding cubes, flattening and rotating them into position. Test the game. The tank will drive through the ramps. We need to add some physics to make the tank behave in a more realistic way. Select the tank parent object. In the inspector, click Add Component. Choose Rigid Body. Now test the game and the tank should drive up the ramps in a more realistic way, responding to gravity if it falls off the side. Next, we'll add some objects to the scene for the tank to interact with and shoot at. Search the asset store for a tall object, for example, a trash bin. 
download and import the scene, a trash bin or a building. Add the trash bin prefab somewhere in front of the tank, resizing and rotating as necessary. In the inspector panel, with the trash bin selected, click Add Component and add a box collider and a rigid body component. This will allow the player to interact with the object. Now we're going to enable the tank to shoot bullets at objects in the scene. Import the shooting.cs script to the assets folder and drag it onto the tank parent object. In the inspector, notice two fields in the script, one for the bullet and one for the barrel. Create a bullet object using a sphere game object. Resize and reposition in front of the tank. Create a new material in the assets folder and change the color to black. Apply this to the bullet. Drag the bullet into the bullet field of the shooting script. Finally, we need to add a rigid body component to the bullet in order for it to have physics. Create an empty game object and position it right at the end of the tank's cannon. Make sure it's positioned correctly from the X, Y and Z perspectives using the axis gizmo. Drag the empty game object into the tank parent to make it a child of the tank. Select the tank parent object. Drag the empty game object into the barrel end field of the shooting script. Increase the shooting speed to 50 and decrease the despawn time to 1. Test the game. When you click the left mouse button, the tank should shoot bullets. You can shoot the trash bins or drive into them to knock them over. Save your project and save your file.